welcome, dear friends, to our time of scripture reading for Friday, April the 26th, 2024. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church, and I'm here to read for you the scripture passages selected for this day using the Revised Common Lectionary in its three-year plan to present the entire Word of God to us in concert with the church year. Uh, today uh, is in the year B of that three-year cycle, and we're in Easter, the Friday before the fifth Sunday of Easter. I'll begin with Psalm 22, verses 25 to 31. From you comes my praise in the great congregation. My vows I will perform before those who fear him. The afflicted shall eat and be satisfied. Those who seek him shall praise the Lord. May your hearts live forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord. All the families of the nations shall worship before you, for kingship belongs to the Lord, and he rules over the nations. All the prosperous of the earth eat and worship. Before him shall bow all who go down to the dust, even the one who could not keep himself alive. Posterity shall serve him. It shall be told of the Lord to the coming generation. They shall come and proclaim his righteousness to a people yet unborn, that he has done it. Our next reading comes to us from the book of the prophet Amos. It's a continuation from what we read yesterday, beginning in the 8th chapter, the 11th verse to the 13th verse. Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, declares the Lord God, when I will send a famine on the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. They shall wander from sea to sea and from north to east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, but they shall not find it. In that day, the lovely virgins and the young men shall faint for thirst. Our final reading comes to us from the book of the Acts of the Apostles. Again, a continuation from what we were reading the day before. Uh, we're beginning in Acts chapter 8, verse uh, 9 to 25. But there was a man named Simon, who had previously practiced magic in the city and amazed the people of Samaria, saying that he himself was somebody great. They all paid attention to him from the least to the greatest, saying, This man is the power of God that is called great. And they paid attention to him because for a long time he had amazed them with his magic. But when they believed Philip as but when they believed Philip as he preached the good news about the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ, they were baptized, both men and women. Even Simon himself believed, and after being baptized, he continued with Philip. And seeing signs and great miracles performed, he was amazed. Now when the apostles at Jerusalem heard that Samaria had received the word of God, they sent to them Peter and John, who came down and prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Spirit, for he had not yet fallen on any of them, but they had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then they laid their hands on them and they received the Holy Spirit. Now when Simon saw that the Spirit was given through the laying on of the apostles' hands, he offered them money, saying, Give me this power also, so that anyone on whom I lay my hands may receive the Holy Spirit. But Peter said to him, May your silver perish with you, because you thought you could obtain the gift of God with money. You have neither part nor lot in this matter, for your heart is not right before God. Repent, therefore, of this wickedness of yours, and pray that the, to the Lord that, if possible... The intent of your heart may be forgiven you, for I see that you are in the gall of bitterness, in the bond of iniquity. And Simon answered, Pray for me to the Lord, that nothing of what you have said may come upon me. Now, when they had testified and spoken the word of the Lord, they returned to Jerusalem, preaching the gospel to many villages of the Samaritans. This is your eternal word, Almighty Father God, and we... We are so 
grateful for your generous provision of it to us. Grant, merciful Father, that through the power of your Holy Spirit, these words may be written in our hearts, in our minds, in our very souls. Holy Spirit, give us wisdom and understanding that these words may move in us and do in us what is your will. And we pray this to your glory, Father God, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior, our soon returning King. Amen. As always, friends, I commend you and thank you for spending some time listening to the Word of God today. I have placed the references for the passages that I've read in the description portion of the video so you can visit them yourselves and contemplate them and meditate on them which I pray you will do. And I also pray you'll be with me tomorrow when I will be here to read the next set of scriptures chosen by the lectionary. Until then, may you go in the grace and the peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.